Hello, it's Mike. And today we're gonna do something I think you guys are gonna like. I know you guys love when I react to bartenders' cocktails. And I know you love when I try them out myself. And in the past, there's two bartenders that I have a love-hate relationship with. How to drink, which I love. <laughs> we're dating, you know, it's not a big deal. You, don't worry about it. Greg does have a wife, but I'll be the side bitch. And tipsy bartender, who's a good bartender, but pisses me off. So with Valentine's Day coming up, I figured I would react to both of their Valentine's Day themed cocktails, make both of them, and then decide which one I think was better. I'm putting two YouTube bartenders against one another. Who's better, Greg from How to Drink or Tipsy Bartender? Both of them have videos making different kinds of strawberry themed Valentine's Day cocktails. So today we're gonna react to them, make them, and decide which one did it better. So grab a drink and get ready for some foreplay because we're about to get into it. Let's start out with Greg. I have a feeling this is gonna be good. He rarely disappoints me <laughs> with anything he does. It's Valentine's Day. Woo! He's drunk. <laughs> I love when you can tell that Greg has filmed multiple videos because he gets drunk. Same. <laughs> Literally me too. Ah. Stop it. Stop it, Mike. No. Hold on, go back. Ah. <laughs> ah. 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 Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Watch this, watch this. Ready? Me if I had OnlyFans. Ready? Ah. Ah. <laughs> Let's get it on. Don't do this to me, okay? It's a Monday. This is why no one believes that I'm not a bottom. Shut up, cocktails, 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 cocktails. We are professional, we, re we review cocktails. <laughs> this is gorgeous. Who edits his videos? I know who edits his videos. They, I think so, they follow me on Twitter. Whoever you are, you are you make gorgeous content. <laughs> How do you do that? Here we just kind of like sit in front of lights and scream. I think that the most stereotypical cliche romantic food of love is a beautiful, delectable, chocolate covered straw. Did you say the way he put that shit in his, go back, hold on, stop it. We weren't gonna do this today. You're baiting me, this is not fair. I didn't mean to do this. Romantic food of love is a beautiful, delectable, <laughs> Chocolate covered strawberry. Oh. Wow. <laughs> what you want to do is you're gonna puree, blend, juice strawberries, and then measure one ounce pours of that strawberry puree. That sounds like a lot of work. Can I use can I use an ice pop? I have a strawberry ice pop. Isn't that basically Strawberry puree. So you've got one ounce jiggers of strawberry juice right there. I just threw strawberries in my Acme Juicematic 5000 from 1972. Uh, worked great, but if you have a more modern juicer, uh, you could use that again. I'm using and I'm using ice pops. <laughs> Did that balloon quit its job on me for the fourth time? God damn it! It's not good at its job. There's a few jobs I'm good at, Greg. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day! Oh my god, don't tell them. Don't let them know that I'm not in full outfit. I'm wearing slippers. Take one ounce of strawberry puree from your ice cube tray. Put that into your small tin. You're gonna need a little creme de cacao. I like Marie Brazard's. Do I have creme de, de do I have creme de, de cacao? Why can't I say that? I'm flustered. Like I'm literally like a giddy little girl. Creme de cacao. Do I have it? Yes. I prefer a white creme de cacao to a uh, dark one because... A RACISM! <laughs> I'm gonna cancel myself. Filled with the fire of the loins. The loin fire. They got one thing in common! They got the file down below. The song by um, that guy and it's about herpes. Do you have a problem with herpes? Greg, do you have a problem with herpes? Let me know now if you have a problem with herpes, <laughs> So, um, this whole frozen one ounce pour of strawberry juice or fruit juice in general, that's a Dave Arnold technique. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna shake this all the way to completion. And what I- He always gives you like all the information you need about techniques. Like I hear, I feel like I wanna ask his wife, can I get gross? I don't want to make him mad. Like, I, I respect this man. I respect this man. I want to say respectfully, I respect this man. 
But he's always talking about techniques. So, like, I want to know, when he's hitting it missionary, because you know he hits it missionary, when he's hitting it missionary, is, like, during, is he, like, this technique came from, <laughs> like, just studying up on the Kama Sutra, like, you know that this technique came from the Aztec. What I mean by that is you're going to shake it for about a minute, and then you're going to wind up very disappointed and finish it yourself. Like every hand job I've ever given or received. Got it. Let's go. Ladies in the room like that joke. Missy Elliott is here too. Ladies and me. <laughs> Ladies and me. I want my glass. It's nothing but puree. Okay. All right. I could do this. And you got to be gentle. Okay. You have to be very, very gentle. You have to use a subtle touch because this... Subtly topic, Greg. <laughs> Why am I a bottom all of a sudden? What's going on? Uh... <laughs> My mommy. <laughs> particular drink is so sensual that when you pour it, it's gonna wanna, <clears throat> it's gonna wanna erupt and boil right on over. Stop! Some nucleation points in there that wanna suck all the gases. Listen, listen, Greg. Greg, come here. Greg. Sex jokes are my thing, okay? Thirsty sex jokes and sex puns, that is my thing. You could have cocktails, okay? You could be Mr. Cocktail. But sex jokes and, and non-intelligent humor, my thing, Greg. If it was a real Magnum, that'd be a great joke, but this is just a regular 750. Magnums are also a dick size. I used to try to wear Magnum condoms. <laughs> you guys want to know a funny story? I used to try to wear Magnum condoms because I'm like, I'm big enough to wear Magnums. And then one time I was fucking somebody and then the Magnum condom slid off like mid thrust and I was there condomless and the condom was inside of them. <laughs> I'm not Magnum. Oh my God, that's delicious. That is a strawberry chalk. I can't do this anymore. Okay, let's fucking make it. <laughs> okay, so for this drink, I got a shaker of ice. And like I said, I don't have strawberry puree, but I have a strawberry ice pop, which is basically frozen strawberry puree. I only had a few strawberries left and I had to save that for the strawberry juice for the next cocktail. So this, is gonna be fine. And if it's not, everybody just shut the fuck up. There we go. That's, yeah, that's an ounce. Let me taste it. Oh, that's good. Let me just put the whole thing in there. Yeah, strawberry puree, woo! One ounce of creme de cacao. Half an ounce of cognac. And then as far as I know, we just shake this to completion as it is. And the frozen strawberry puree, or in, in this case, the ice pop, will act as the cooling agent and the mix and the sweetener, which is how it should be done. Thank you, Greg. Let me shake this until it, Melts, Jesus Christ. See, I could do this. I could do this for hours, Greg. <laughs> Is anybody out there? Is anybody single? Is anybody looking for a Valentine's Day? I haven't had a Valentine's Day in five years. <laughs> I would love one. I'm mentally unstable and a little bit damaged. Perfect for a date. Okay, I think it's getting to the point where it's, for the most part, Oh yeah, it's all melted. Fuck yeah, let's go. That honestly, yeah, it looks pretty fucking good to me. That looks melted to me. That looks pretty fucking good if I do this on myself. And he said not to strain this, so I'm just gonna take this off. I'm just gonna go ahead and pour this. Oh, it's not done. Fuck. It is not done being melted. Hold on. I gotta shake it <laughs> a little bit more. I didn't finish the job. Don't embarrass me in front of crack. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. Now it's fine. And if it's not fine, we're gonna lie and say that it is. Okay, okay, I think it's looking good. And then I got some cheap champagne to top it off. I read the comments all the time. They're like, oh, that's cheap champagne. It's for a YouTube video. Eat my, oh shit. Shut up. The directions say about three ounces of champagne or about like 90 milliliters. But be careful because it's bubbly. That's why they call it bubbly. Ooh, she pretty. If you're trying to impress your Valentine's Day date, this would do it, especially if I made it like fully pretty, garnished it to the nines. Like if someone gave me this, I'd be like, yeah, I'll fuck you. It's not hard for me to say that. Now let's go to Tipsy Bartender's cocktail. He has a strawberry themed martini, it looks like. I'm trying to keep them as similar as possible. So this cocktail is called the Love Potion. This Valentine's drink is called Love Potion. I said that already, damn it. That's kind of cool, right? Smokes up and stuff. <laughs> yeah, it smokes up. It looks very, very aesthetically pleasing, which we know you pander to, but is it good? Because this, I, I will say this right off the bat, this is something that that Instagram girl or guy, or wh whatever Instagram thought gender you are, this is something that they would get for the photo. But let's see if Greg's is better. Also warning, I'm not doing dry ice. I'm not doing, Potions Professor Snape's class right now. I'm gonna make this cocktail exactly how it is, just without the dry ice. The only thing different is it's not gonna be smoking. And also, just like warning, dry ice in martinis, not the safest thing. If that shit touches your lip, 
you will fucking burn yourself. So if you have this cocktail and you do use dry ice, let it melt first before you start sucking it down. Just, <laughs> just like a quick, a quick warning. So we grab some strawberry slices, throw those into a glass, okay? Bang. All right, then we muddle, get some of those juices out of there. Oh yeah. Come behind there with some ice. Okay. All right, now we pour in some vodka. A little bit of simple syrup to sweeten that bad boy. Right off the bat, one advice I'm gonna give you that he doesn't do is I would put all the ingredients in first before you add your ice so the ice doesn't start melting and diluting the cocktail as you make it. A little bit of grenadine and add a little color to it, you see what I'm saying? You're already adding sweetener. Like you already have the simple syrup in. The grenadine is just for color, but the grenadine is also a sweetener. So already I know this drink is probably going to be too sweet for my liking. If you like it extra sweet, this is fine. If you're like me, an adult, who, who doesn't want it to be that sweet, you don't need the simple syrup. The grenadine will sweeten it and give it the color that you want. Slice, and then we cut a little V at the top. I don't have strawberries. I'm not garnishing either of these. I'm just tasting the fucking cocktail. No one's paying for this. I'm not trying to get a tip. No one gets a garnish, okay? I ate all my strawberries. I ate all my strawberries. I got stoned and I was watching anime and I ate all my strawberries. Let me live my life. Fuck. Love potion, okay? <laughs> I bet you it's delicious. Let's fucking make it. Okay, in a glass of ice, and I'm putting the ice in first, because that's what he did. Fresh strawberry juice from my juicer. Simple syrup. Grenadine. And vodka. A healthy amount. Let's shake that up. Oh, fuck, it squirted on me. As a good Valentine's Day date should. Now, if you want to use dry ice, go ahead and put dry ice in now. It'll look really pretty, but I just want to check out the taste of the love potion. Okay! Now let's bring them both together. So here we have Greg from How To Drinks Valentine's Day Cocktail, and here we have Tipsy Bartender's Valentine's Day Cocktail. I'm going to start with Greg's. Sweet, but not too sweet. Light and refreshing. Love that. I'm actually, I'm gonna, hold on. I might need a palate cleanser. And then we have Tipsy Bartender's Love Potion. But let's go ahead and try it. It might be fucking delicious. It's good. I mean, it's not bad. I can't lie and sit here and say that it's bad. It's just very sweet. If you like overly sweet drinks, this could be for you. I'm not the staple. I only complain about overly sweet drinks because the only complaint or the, the most common complaint I get as a bartender is that a drink is too sweet and it gives people headaches. So I wouldn't really be able to have a lot of these. But if you like really sweet martinis to sip on, you would love this. It's really not that bad. Like I could have this. I could finish just one for sure. Vanilla vodka might be better to give it more of like a dessert flavor for Valentine's Day or maybe some kind of like floral bitters, or instead of the simple syrup, what if you made like a rose simple syrup or a lavender simple syrup? Like give it something extra, you know what I mean? That's like an edit I think I personally would make. This, however, it's it's basically just like a really nice cognac strawberry bellini and I, I fucking love it. <sighs> bitch, did you ask that to shut the hell up, bitch? Okay, <clears throat> wow. So here are my overall thoughts. I wouldn't call either of these cocktails bad per se. Both of them are fine Valentine's Day cocktails. Feel free to try out whichever one you would personally like. The Tipsy Bartender Love Potion Martini is all right. It's very sweet, but Greg's Valentine's Day drink is more balanced, more refreshing, and is also really sweet itself. So you would also like that. I think actually more people would like that. Even though my taste definitely prefers that, I think more people in total would absolutely but for Greg from How To Drinks Cocktail over Tipsy Bartender. So thank God I didn't have to piss off Greg. Greg is the winner! Wee! <laughs> Greg, I will DM you on Twitter and you can send me a box of Valentine's Day chocolates. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and subscribe for future videos. I put them out weekly, usually on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but sometimes I'm late, just like your mom. In the comments down below, let me know which cocktail you think was better. Which one would you personally pick for yourself? Let me know. Be sure to follow me across all social media. You can find me everywhere at MikeMGTV. And if that's it, I'm MikeMGTV, and you're fucking welcome. <laughs>